let's find the area of the sector. The sector is the shaded area. Before we solve this problem, the sector is like a circle pizza shape. Apart from a slice of pizza, these are other real life examples. Consider a sector. If the angle at the center is in degrees, then the area of the sector will be the area of the circle multiplied by the ratio of the angle to 360. However, if the angle at the center is in radians, then we're going to multiply the given radian by 1 over 2 multiplied by r squared. The central angle will determine which of the formulas to use, unless otherwise stated. Step number 1. Consider the angle at the center. The given angle is in degrees. Next, step number 2. Choose the right formula for degrees, which is this. Step number 3. The area of a sector is the area of a circle multiplied by the given angle divided by 360. Next, we are going to substitute for the radius, which is 8. Substituting and solving carefully, our answer is 32 over 3 pi. And here, we have left our answer in terms of pi. If we take pi to be 3.142, which is a constant, then our real value is 33.51. The next step is to consider the unit. Area is usually in centimeter squared, meter squared, inch squared, but here 8 has no unit, which is the radius. Hence, our area has no unit as well. Next, find the area of the given sector. Step number one, consider the angle at the center. Here, the angle is given in radians. Step number two, choose the right formula for a given angle in radians, which is one over two multiplied by R squared multiplied by the angle, which must be in radian. Next, we're going to write out the formula. And in the next step, we're going to substitute for the radius, which is 6 meters, and also for the angle, which is in radian, 2 pi divided by 3. Next, we're going to simplify our result. These two, we take a radius 2, and our answer is 12 pi, which has been left in terms of pi. Next, consider the unit. The radius is in meters. Hence, the unit is meter squared. But pi is 3.142. Hence, the real value of the area is 37.70 meter squared to two decimal places. Next, let's find the area of the sector. I'm going to solve this problem using degrees formula and radians formula. That is, using both formulas. And let us see if we can get the same answer. Let's start with the degrees. Considering the angle 
in degrees. The area of the sector will be area of the circle multiply by the given angle then divide by 360. Next, we're going to substitute for the radius. Next, we simplify. This 5 will take away 5 and we are left with 5 pi. Next, we consider the unit which is in centimeters. Hence, we're going to have centimeters squared. Here, we have left our answer in terms of pi. But if you substitute the value of pi, you can get the real value of the area. Next, let's use the formula for the radians to see if we can get the same answer. The first step is to write out the area in radians. The next step is to substitute. But here, we have a problem. This angle is in radians, not in degrees. But 72 is in degrees. To convert the degrees to radians, we need to multiply the degrees by pi over 180. By this conversion, we can go ahead to simplify. Next, these two we take away this 2 and 5 here is 1 while 5 here is 5 and our answer is 5 pi next we consider the unit which is in centimeters and the unit is centimeters squared you can see that using any of the formulas will give you the same answer as long as you know how to convert from degrees to radians or from radians to degrees. Next, we had solved this problem earlier using radians formula. Let's repeat the solution using the degrees formula. Using the degrees formula, we are going to have the central angle divide by 360 multiply by the area of the circle. But we have a problem here. The central angle is in radians. However, this formula is for degrees. To correct this error, we are going to multiply the given angle by 180 divide by pi. This will convert it from radians to degrees. With this conversion, we can simplify our result. Here, pi will take away pi. 3 here is 1 and 3 in 180 is 60. Simplifying further, our area is 12 pi and since the radius is in meters the unit will be in meters squared you can see using the degrees formula we obtained the same answer that we got using the radians formula the area of a sector is 8 pi and the radius of the circle is 12. What is the central angle? Here we have a sector and here we are not sure if x is in radian or is in degrees. Both formulas will lead us to the answer. Let's try the degrees. The area is 8 pi, while the radius is 12. At the numerator, everything we multiply and you're going to get this. 
and 360 will multiply at the denominator and you're going to get this next we cross multiply 360 will move to multiply 8 pi and we're going to get this next pi will take away pi simplifying further the central angle is 20 degrees next what is 20 degrees in radians to convert degrees to radians you multiply the degrees with pi divide 180 1 over 9 pi is the same thing as 20 degrees you see that the unit or the radius is not important this is the degrees formula let's repeat this question using the radians formula using the radians formula the area is 8 pi from the question and the radius is 12. next 2 will cross multiply to multiply 8 pi 8 pi multiplied by 2 we give you 16 pi however we want to isolate s and 144 will now move to the other side to divide and x becomes 1 over 9 pi in radians how do you convert radians to degrees you simply multiply it by 180 divided by pi next pi we take away this pi 9 here is 1 and 9 in 18 is 2 and you now have 20 degrees which we have obtained using the radiance formula however we got the same result using the degrees formula if this video was helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. To locate and assess other helpful videos, follow the link on the screen. I will see you in the next video lesson.